In this tutorial, we're going to learn to work with the image properties for images that we inserted into Articulate Engage. So let's go ahead and insert an image. I'm going to come over here to the media panel, click on the image, and we'll just insert the house image. Hit OK. And let's um, preview this and see what we have. Now, right now, we can see that we have our image on the right, our text on the left, and you can see we also have this scroll bar here. And um, then we have our placeholder or other content. So we're going to go ahead and adjust the properties for the image we inserted. The first property is position, and you can see we have top, bottom, left, right. Let's go ahead and change this to left. So now what should happen is the image should be on the left and the text should be on the right. And then we also have a size option. Now if we preview this, you'll remember I have this scroll bar here. Now the scroll bar exists because we have more text than uh, we have space, so then you're going to get the scroll bar. But sometimes you have just a little bit of space and it doesn't make sense to have the scroll bar. So there's two ways to get rid of that. One is to have less text, and the other is to make your image a little smaller. So we're going to go ahead and make the image a little smaller. So we come over here to size. Right now, by default, it's on automatic, but you can add a custom size. And um, sometimes you may want to make the image really large. So sometimes I don't know what the largest is I could make. So I'll just type in a big number like 800. And it'll give me a message saying, well, the largest I can make it is 338. And I'll hit OK. Now in this case, we actually want to make it smaller because we want to get rid of the scroll bar. So I'm just going to say 200. And then let's see what we have. So if we preview this, now you can see I have a smaller image. And that gives me more room for the text, and I don't have the scroll bar. Now, one of the problems is I may actually want to have a larger version of that image, so we can fix that. What we do is just come over here to where it says Zoom Image. I can click on that, and I have the option to zoom the image in the current window, or I can have it in a new window. We're going to keep it in the current window. So let's go ahead and preview this. And what we have now is a little magnifying glass on the image. So when I click on it, it zooms in, I get a better view of the image. When I click on it again, it zooms out. So that's basically it when you look at the properties. You have your position, the size, you can customize that, you use the automatic sizing, and then you can also zoom in on the image. And then if you want to change the image, you can click on the link, or you can click on the X and choose a different media type. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the community. And then go ahead and watch the next tutorial on how to do the same thing with the videos that you insert.